Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, it's Jason, and uh, today we're going to put an easy mod in the Razer Panthera fight stick. Uh, this is the uh, Panthera I've had since uh, it came out, and I designed the easy mod around it, which is why I'm missing caps for the buttons, this or caps for these slide switches. I'm missing the slide switch for the uh, LSDP RS mode switch. Uh, because I actually took it off and uh, to try and figure out how the switch functioned and then lost said switch and lost all the caps in the mess that is my shop over a year ago. So, hey, good morning, Noria. So, uh, you can see that, heck, there's still plastic on the buttons. It's just been sitting on my shelf in my home office inside since uh, I got it just over, I guess it's almost been a year because uh, I think I finished this easy mod in February of 17. So I, uh, I decided that I wanted to uh, go ahead and put an easy mod in it because, well, I'm fairly certain that I've destroyed all the, the guts of the Panthera during the process. So I wanted to try and get it running again, and I was hoping I had all the pieces and parts so I could try and make it as close to whole as possible. But alas, I do not. So, here we are. This is what we're going to do this morning. And let me uh, adjust this camera a little bit because it's a little bright, a little, a little overexposed. All right, so that should be that should be better. All right. So, <clears throat> in this vast bag of stuff, I got my Easy Mod here. Hey, look, I've got one of those Brook uh, Neo Geo converters. I got to try out the cables and the hardware. Then uh, I've got my Brook Universal Fight Board I'm going to throw in here. Uh, this is the uh, stock board that came in the Panthera. We're going to get this junk off of it and pull the, the Pro Cable Connector off. Um, and then here's the Panthera cable, which we're not going to use because I want to use one of my Pro Cables on it. And to do that, I'm going to rewire this little guy. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So that's cool. And then in this bucket, we have some random bits and pieces of screws that we will use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out the... Uh, well, I guess I should connect this guy back up. Um, I'm going to take out the prototype board that I built for this many, many moons ago. <clears throat> and uh, set the screws off to the side here. Um, I don't have, I mean, I have a whole nother Panther that's still new in the box that I'm actually going to use as a, um, as the prop for a breaking down the stick episode. And by a prop, I mean the stick I break down. Um, but, uh, I suppose I should easy mod that one eventually too. Or I may just sell the stick. I don't know. I'm not particularly fond of this fight stick, uh, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's not really for me. All right, so we'll take this out and toss that off to the side. Here's the original covers that we don't need anymore. <clears throat> Here's the, uh, this holds the actual USB cable or the USB Pro cable connector down in the, its spot. But now that we got this out, let's go ahead and uh, do a little surgery here on the main board. So let's go ahead and zoom in. So y'all can see what I'm about to do. Make sure we're in focus here. All right, there we go. Uh, is the top panel bendy like the old Atrox? Uh, I'm not, I don't know. I, I've never used an old Atrox. So we'll have to, uh, I'll have to bring it on camera here in a second. And we'll have to do a little analysis and you guys tell me what you think. All right. So, in their infinite wisdom, I don't know if that's an accurate statement or not, they decided that they had to put this gunk on the board. I hate this crap. You gotta, it's like nasty chewing gum. So you gotta kinda get in there and just scrape it off so that you get to the wires. I, I really hate this. And so I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver to try and get in here and 
peel it. It's disgusting. There we go. So we got that off. Now I could go and desolder these wires using my my desoldering pump, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go in here with my flush cutters and cut them down at the board here. And yeah. All right. So once we get them off, you'll see that uh, they're labeled on the board is red, white, green, black, and black. Or, yeah. Which doesn't you no know good because they shouldn't have labeled them by what they do. Um, and the thing that makes it even more challenging is they put shrink flex on the white wire because they stripped it too far. And if you pull the white wire, the shrink, shrink flex off and expose the copper, that's a lot of extra copper. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to set that off to the side. And I need to grab my, I'm going to use my little south wire uh, strippers here. And I'm going to use the 24 gauge setting and just strip off some of the wire jacket so that we have a place to make the connection on the easy build or easy mod, sorry, the easy builds for the Panzer. And if you're doing this on a stick that hasn't been partially disassembled, you, you definitely need to take out the screws that hold the cover, the base, and the USB connector off so that uh, you can do this in your hand. You don't want to try and do this with this whole thing mounted. It will be probably impossible to do. Now, it looks like there's a little bit of shielding material in here, so let's clip that off. We don't want to deal with any of that. Being careful not to uh, clip any of the wire, obviously. This white wire is actually pretty disheartening. It's a little disappointing that it was done this way. Alright, so what you can see here is I'm trying to separate this little white fiber crap from the copper so that I can trim it out because we don't need that. Yeah. All right, so that's better. I need to make sure that I'm situationally aware of my camera up here so you guys can see what's going on. Um, all right, so red's going to be VCC, D plus will be green, D minus will be yellow. And then these, this black and yellow are both ground. One is shield and one is ground, but at the PCB, they're tied into the same thing. So, yeah. Um, and it, I think I need to trim just, or sh uh, strip a little bit more off the yellow here. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, there we go. All right, now, we got that done. Next thing is, let's grab our easy mod board here and prep this for installation into the case. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom back out a little bit up here so that we're not so tight in. Uh, you're gonna notice uh, there's a bunch of holes on it, mounting points, and you're gonna notice in your kit, you're gonna get, uh, let's just go ahead and dump this all out. We get some wires, which we'll use. We get some these number 440 screws these little standoff barrels, some rubber washers, and uh, yeah. So what we're going to do, how many videos? Two, four, six, eight, so. All right. We're going to take this. The screw goes up. Well, let me make sure I got this right. Um, All right, 
So you're going to take one of these screws, have it come up like this. Come on. There we go. And you put one of these guys there, and then tighten the barrel down. You can just do this with your fingers initially, kind of like that. And we're going to do that all the way around. Good. And last one over here. Son of a bitch. All right. Good. All right, cool. So now, there you go. We got our four, four posts in spot. Uh, you want to do that first because obviously you can't get to those bottom screws and once uh, this board's bolted down in the case. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver. Oops, wrong bit. Oh, let's see. I will. All right, here we go. I'm going to use my screwdriver just to make sure these are tightened down. They don't have to be super, super tight. You just want to make sure they're not going to move. So just make, just do a little snug. And you'll be good to go. All right. Cool. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, a jeweler screwdriver works great for this, like something like that, although that one's a little too big. Um, and then that one would be perfect, except I broke it. So let's see, maybe this won't be all right. We're gonna go in here. No, nope, that's too big. Well, this could be dead on arrival if I don't have a screwdriver small enough for it. Let's see. This could be problematic. Let's see, maybe this will work. All right, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna loosen. Oh yeah, that works. Even though it's broken, I'll have to get another one. Uh, so we're gonna loosen these little terminals all the way to the top up here, like so. <clears throat> all right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to insert these wires into the easy build. Now, if, or the easy mod, excuse me, if you are going to use the stock razor cable with this, just wire it up normally. Green to D plus, white to D minus, red to five volts, uh, black and yellow to the D ground, <coughs> excuse me, to the two ground pins. If you want to use a Mad Cat's TE2 or TE2 Plus uh, Pro Cable or one of my Pro Cables with it, you're going to swap the green and the white wire at the easy build because then it's going to swap the pins up here on this so that it's pin compatible with my cables. And since I want to do that, that's what I'm going to do today. So to do this, oh, this white wire is ridiculously too long. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me clip a little bit of it off. Uh, so, this is probably the trickiest part of this whole installation just because these wires are super, super short. Uh, let's go ahead and insert the yellow and the black into the terminal like so. And then take our, where'd it go? Oh, yep, there we go. Our screwdriver and tighten it down. Okay. There we go. 
99.9% of the time, if you're not getting a connection when you or with your computer or your console after you install an easy mod, it's because these wires are not installed properly. Just letting you know. <clears throat> All right. So now we're going to take the white wire, which is normally D minus, but since we're going to use it with one of my pro cable kits, uh, I'm inserting it into D plus. If you're going to just use it with the razor cable, insert it to D minus, but since we're going to use mine or one of my cables, it goes into D plus. Okay. Now the green wire, which is normally D plus, we're going to make D minus. So again, so it's compatible with the pro one of my pro cables. We're going to put it into the D minus spot. This is the most tedious part of one of these. I hate this cable, it's so small. The TE2 Plus is a lot easier because it's a lot, a lot longer. came out. There we go. Alright, so we get that in. I'll just tighten this down. Good. All right, so now we'll do the last one here, which is the power of the red wire. There we go. There, now we got all the wires in. We should be good to go. Now, before we go too far and we put this in, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and plop my e my brook board on like that, which would have been good if I would actually got the USBs lined up as well. There we go. Now we got that done. And let me grab a pro cable. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I just want to test to make sure that I've got a good connection on my uh, USB cable here so that uh, I don't get too far into the install and realize I have to take the whole thing out and redo it. All right. And I'm going to open up joystick.cpl or joy.cpl. All right, and that should have popped up on the screen for you guys. And we're going to go ahead and just uh, plug the cable in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so it didn't pop up, so let's see why. I guess I probably don't have a connection made up very well. 
So let's see what we can find out here. Let's take a look at my computer and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. It didn't uh, populate. Uh, okay. So it says it, it does not, right. it's not recognized. All right, so let's pull this board off. Let's double check. Well, that's one problem. My ground cable came disconnected. Awesome. <sighs> so that should be fun to deal with. And it looks like, I wonder if I didn't get a, no, that connection seems to be pretty tight. So let's fix this black wire. So that's in there nice and tight now. Well, that's not going to do anything. Um, I wonder. Let's just, uh, you know, hang on. Let's do this. Just for grins, I wonder... If uh, if uh, I did this wrong, which is possible. Nope, that didn't work either. Windows does not recognize it. All right, so let's let's test our brook board because that could be a potential issue. Uh, so I need a regular USB 2.0 cable. try this and that way we can determine if the brook board's actually the problem because that would not be great okay so the brook board is right so that's good all right so let's just disconnect that Yoink. <clears throat> and let's just swap the green and the white wire and call it a day. Thought that would be, uh, thought that should work. Or maybe I got some bum gouge from some customers on the compatibility of Razor's cables. <sighs> back to this weird grind which is a pain I hate I hate 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 these wires
Might as well just take out the power wire to make it a little bit easier on us. <sighs> All right. And we do this again. All right. strip a little bit more off the screen jacket. I didn't give myself a lot of room to work with on it. There we go. I bet ya, I bet I didn't have a good connection on that D plus wire when I initially did it, that green wire, which is why it was giving me problems. I'd be almost willing to bet a dollar on it. Much better. Much better. All right. good <sighs> all right and we do the test test to test all right we'll open up the joy show again hopefully this time it works And I wired it up with the stock razor cable in mind. So hopefully this is works. There we go. All right, cool. Yep. So sure enough, I bet you I had a wire swippy swapped. Or not swapped, I'm sorry. Too loose. Now let's try it with uh, one of my pro cables to see what happens. Oh, I just... I just Remove the screen. Sorry about that, guys. All right. And with the pro cable, it should not work. Yeah. All right. It did not work. All right. Um, so use the razor cable. Although, if you do swap that D plus on that D minus wire, the green and the white wire, it, that will work. Um, I am confident now that uh, I just had the... Um, the, the wire not installed all the way, so my bad. All right. You'd think right now I'd go back and say, oh, well, let's let's swap it and do it, but no, I've gone too far. <clears throat> I'm tired of dealing with these wires. All right, let's go ahead and kill that window again. All right, and bring the case back into view. All right, so zoom all the way out. Yoink. All right. Now, uh, this is where not anything gets harrowing. It's not hard, but we just got to kind of clean up our workspace a little bit and move some wires out the way to give ourselves some room. Okay. 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 Now we'll take the easy build and set it into place like so. And all right. Good there. Good there and good there. And we will use 
the screws that we removed earlier, these four guys, guys, and hold them, hold the board into place. Like so. Awesome. Okay. Ah, get in there, you little bastard. This is probably the second most difficult part, is just being able to get to these back screws. I guess I could take the whole top panel off. I've done that before, to, just because I got annoyed things were in my way. I'm not going to do that today, unless I randomly get annoyed again. Okay. Boom. In. In, in, in. Now, we'll take our little uh, pro cable guy here. I'm going to set this down into place like so. Actually, let's uh, take this off. And we'll take this guy. See, this is the whole, whole assembly there like that. And then we're going to need these really long screws. There's four of them. See? <coughs> Now, what we'll do is, uh, this is the bottom one, so we can get this lined up like that. Here's the top one. Put it in like that, and it kind of sandwiches the connector in. Then you just kind of bend it and get it into place down there like so. All right, that doesn't want to work. So we'll put put the bottom guy back into place and get that guy down in there like this. Get in. And then we can take the top guy, put him into place, like that, and we'll just hold it in place with a screw for right now. Alright, there we go, good. Okay, while we're here, let's grab one of these 5-pin cables. And we'll go ahead and put it into place like so. We'll grab this cable over here. It's one of the four pin, or no, this is a five pin. Just get all these little cables installed real quick. Come on. Good. And then while we're down here, might as well just connect these guys up too. All right. Button harness. And we got the little front panel connector doodad. And we got the side buttons right here, like that. Cool. We'll get these wires kind of tucked in out of the way. All right, then we got, yeah. This had a bunch of glue on it too. That was pretty awesome getting off. I'm gonna line the arrows like so. Yoink. And then get these little guys installed. 
from the aux panel over here. And then the JLF right here, which they also glued the damn connector on. God, so much glue. I hate glue. All right. There we go. Now we're almost done here. Um, okay, actually, let's go ahead and now that we got all the cables installed, we'll go ahead and just install the remaining three screws for the USB guy up here. Let's just get those pushed into place so that we can have better luck at getting them in. There we go. We'll just wedge our screwdriver back there to screw them down. So that's in, and that's good to go. And then you guys can see the front here. It looks good to go, right? Awesome. Now we'll take our brook board that's got all these little fancy whamadine connectors on it, and we are going to just loop them in like so. So we'll just plug them into place. That. Straight one for one. So I, I tried to get all the connectors placed in a logical manner. So wire A goes to point A on the board. Makes it pretty easy. Okay. We'll do the same thing with this last wire over here. All right. So we're good to go. And then we just take them. We get all our pins lined up. Oops. And then we just push the brook board down. Voila. Like so. And then we can use these last little screws. I'm not going to put those washers on. I don't think I need them. And use the 440 screws that are included in the kit to now hold everything down into place like so oh no I lost a screw ah oh, there it is Okay, there we go. We have a universal fighting board installed using the easy build and or the easy mod, which it looked like it wasn't so easy because I was struggling a little bit, but there it is. So now that's all done, we can uh, go ahead and show you guys it that way. So this is where this this little guy. This was the USB connector was causing the, the this the main bit of issue, but it's all right. Um, yeah, so that was actually pretty straightforward. So we, uh, we can call this good. Let's go ahead and, you know, we could do a little bit of cable management if we wanted to. I'm not gonna bother really because I don't care that much right now. Um, I guess I will clean this off a little bit because it is a little, a little dusty. been sitting in my like I said my office all right so that's good closes up nice and if we'll take all this crap off and if it actually had all of the aux buttons st <laughs> aux panel stuff installed you'd think well wow, that's a pretty uh, stock looking panthera there guy but I ham-handed it when I was 
testing things out for the easy mo easy mod stuff, so it happens. All right, I just used a little Windex to clean this thing off because it was driving me nuts how dirty it was. Mm. <clears throat> All right. The one thing I do like about this stick, I, I won't, I won't, I won't lie, is it is pretty, pretty easy to get into. I mean, the whole one pop thing is makes a lot of sense. Um, all right, so we'll do one more, one more test just to make sure everything is bueno. Hopefully everything's bueno. So I loaded up the joy.cpl program. It's a good way to just quickly test everything out. If you're modding in front of a computer like I normally do. Okay. So we've got that up. That's good. And there we go. So I'll go over here. All right, so we got that, that's all good. All those work just as you expect. Good. Where's the, uh... can't tell if it's popping up the game, game window thing on my computer or not. Ah, what is going on? Java's opening a million windows. No. Okay, good. And it looks like I... Oh, <laughs> hang on one second. Hello? What's up? I'm out my shop. Oh, was she? Nice. Can I call? Nope, not. Sorry. <laughs> nice. All right, give me five minutes. All right, bye. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. My wife called. So I was having an issue with the uh, the PS button. Well, this lock button actually locks that one button on the aux panel. So it does work. We're good to go there. And the touchpad works. All the buttons work. I assume I, I can't test the LSRS mode switch because it's physically not there, but that's all right. So yeah, there you go. That's the uh, easy mod in a, in a nutshell for the Panthera. So again, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty stock when it's all done, but you and I will know that it is multi-console compatible because we put the universal fighting board inside. So there you go, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, if, if you have a little bit more patience than I do, um, it will take significantly less time if you aren't doing it on a stream like I am, because I like to talk through things as I get, get through it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good to go. You can order it from ArcadeShock.com. Uh, use coupon code Jason, J-A-S-E-N, and you can save up to 12% off of various things that you may or may not need there, including this easy mod. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, always feel free to shoot me a question through the uh, Zendesk help desk, jasonscustoms.zendesk.com. And uh, we'll close this up. And I wonder if anyone would want to buy this. Because I don't need it anymore Anymore now that I've got the, e the easy mod designed. Anyways, if you're interested, shoot me an email. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks. And uh, I've got some more stuff I'm going to stream later today. But uh, I'm going to go get some breakfast with my wife. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks, guys. jasonscustoms.com for the community for the win